Hey everybody, it's Super Cursor 2. Welcome to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Okay, so, <laughs> starting off. The winning name for the contest was Yo Mama. So let's just get this in right here. So, is everyone ready? Okay, here we go. And start the timer. <laughs> In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his, o his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Navi, Navi Wartar, come here! Oh, Navi the fairy. Listen to my words, the worth of the Deku Tree. Does not sense it? The climate of evil is setting upon this realm. Eleven forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kukiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power says nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth's destiny is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find your own friend and guide with me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon you. Ooh. So, you might be wondering why, why I'm doing this game. I just really feel like playing this game. Hello. Oh man, this is exciting. This is exciting. This is this right here is exciting stuff right here. This is like a really cool camera thing. It's it's like a flying, it's just flying. And Navi is apparently drunk, or something to that extent. <laughs> but I am just so excited for this right now, um, because. It's like a 3D game and stuff, and I get to like I actually play on my TV now instead of just looking at the little screen. And now I I, I fixed the the sound too, so um, so this is just gonna be really good. I hope. Also, I'm just really excited. And now that I've got free time and such, I'm doing this because this is what I want to do because. Doing what I want to do is what I really want to do right now. I don't know why wouldn't I want to do what I want to do? Like, if you're like saying, "Hey, I want to go jump off a cliff," and then going, "No, I'm not going to jump off a cliff." It's like, oh, actually, that's a bad analogy, but whatever. Oh, bonk! Our first movements in the game, and we bonk into two two objects. I'm such a confident player at this game. Oh man. Oh man. Yahoo! Hi, old mama. That's just silly, right there. Uh, oh shoot! I got a bang. I got a bad angle here. That's not good. Ah, shoot! Got that see there. No roof you left behind. So here. Right now, all I'm just gonna do is get the sword, because, uh, 
The Code Curry Sword. Code Curry Sword. Whoa, that wasn't supposed to be there. Timing is critical here. And I screwed the timing up so much. But no matter. What do we have? 15 now? We should have 15. No. Yeah, 15. Okay. And this is the only. This is really. Uh. Ooh. I think how much money I actually need in this whole game. Uh. 30... I only need 70 rupees in this whole game. But... Time. It's, it's a thing. And the more time that goes on, the more money you make. It, 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 it makes sense, you know? So... Navi's just like, hey, talk to me. I need someone to talk to you. Also, if you didn't know, there's a rupee there. Because Navi is the most anti-social fairy. He only tries to talk to me, and I don't talk to her. Uh, but Navi is really useful in like one spot. Yeah, <laughs> really useful in just one spot. I think there might be two. I'm not entirely sure about that, I think it's just one. Uh, because... Navi's not like he. Navi's kinda useful here. That's really the only place that I can find that she's useful. The only place I can find that she's useful, yes. Do this so I don't screw this up. There we go. And you might be wondering why am I standing here? I feel like I can do that. Um the reason why that works is because when you do a uh, jump flush, you step back, and if you immediately hit Navi, when you do the jump flush, like that, or as soon as you land the jump flush, you get Navi, and you also step back, and when Navi's talking, you can just go through objects, or water, at least. So that's fun. Also, if you match speed during the server here, oh. you get to go faster, so that's, that's cool. Um, so, early, just gonna get a bean, because I need a bean. Beans are good for you, to make it part. The magic beans aren't selling very well! I shall help. I shall help your, your, your business. Fat man who's eating all your beans. Why do you eat all your beans? That's back in business. I feel like if you're an ice cream shop and you just eat all of your own ice cream, that's silly. Because you can't sell it to anyone. You just lose the money because you're just eating it, not paying yourself. Because if you pay for it yourself, then you're not making any money anyway. So. Also, the most critical thing about this game is a one heart piece. It's all the way. All the way to hell up here. Um, if you didn't know, you can get it early by grabbing this chicken. Got you. And go all the hell the way up here. All the hell the way. All the way to hell. All the way up here. Way the hell up here. Did I just say that I was going to get the heart piece? I lied. I screwed that up. Okay. I shall cut back to when I can do it. Here we go. That wasn't too bad. I might not cut that out. Who knows. So now we're in Zoro's domain. Because that's where this leads to. We don't... It's like, hey, you have to talk to uh, some guy to make the waterfall sleep and all that shit. But who cares about all that shit? Because I find cool. Who needs to talk to shit? So right now I'm just getting some Deku sticks and Deku nuts because I like them. And they're tasty. Something like that. I'm just gonna stick them all here. Uh, 
I'm gonna do is just break this, because I don't like thicker sticks. They're, they're uncool. No, my like thicker sticks. Thicker sticks are evil. The evil of the thicker stick. Ah! Okay, but anyway. <laughs> Um, we can talk to the Zora, and we're going to play a diving game, because diving games are fun. Ooh, that was horrible angle. Oh, man. So, right now, um, this is, like, Super concentration time because getting these these, these blue rupees that I have to collect for this mini game is so hard to concentrate for because I'm just talking and it's just like oh I'm done okay oh I was because <laughs> I I said I should probably just mash B instead because B is more fun to mash bah! also. I am not the best at this game. I, I'm actually pretty bad at this game. But all that aside... I'm pretty good at this game. All that aside. So now we just have to talk to this guy again. And he's going to give us, say, a thing. He's going, he's going to give it to us. In other words, he's basically saying that he's going to spank us. Oh, wait. He's giving them scale. Hold on now. <laughs> Don't hold on. This is, this is virtual console stuff. Here. Thing is the virtual console. So, really, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to line up against the wall, fail my trick. Wow. I hate it when that happens. Because when you when you do a side hop down the waterfall, that's actually faster than diving down it. And if you do what I did, that just screws everything up. <laughs> because it's like, oh, you're kind of inside the waterfall, kind of. But no, you're not. Here, take a swim. I missed the bottle. Holy crap. There we go. I got the bottle. I am just not playing my best today. <laughs> what? Something is already inside. Oh. Well, that's no good. My bottles can't have anything inside them for them to be able to be used. This is obviously the logic of Nintendo. You must not be able to empty something out from your bottle. Use it. So, I just planned to be in there because doing that allows me to go to the, the fishing pond. I'm kind of pointing to it on my TV screen, not on my capture right now. <laughs> the fishing pond is just like right in front of us, kind of. It's on that little island over there. That's like not possible to get to when you're in a boat because of stuff that's going to happen. Which will be explained later, probably in this episode too. Also, this first episode might be a bit long. And there's a reason for that. Because this first episode is going to be all of Tile. Also, okay, so right now what you can do is get your refreshments right now because you've got about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so that nothing is going to happen. So I'm going to go and get a refreshment as well. I got my refreshment. Ah. 
reinforcements are so good. So what I'm going to do now is what I failed to do before and actually do what I was trying to do. So in other words, I'm going to do a side hop off of here. Or not. <laughs> the game doesn't want me to side hop. Cool. Now, something interesting that I found is that this this ladder right here is exactly one side hop from the loading zone. So now we can just travel down Zoros River again. And now we're going to actually be going to do some fun stuff, because everyone knows that getting a bottle is not fun. Even though that this is like the longest bottle. But it works out because this bottle allows me to go to the fishing pond. Oh, faster. Way faster. And if I try to plan it out differently. Because if I try to plan it out differently, then that would just take, I don't know. Some, I don't know, 20 minutes to actually have it work. Um. So. And this only takes about 15 here, in this instance, to get the bottle there, like that. Also, um, contradicting um, popular belief, back walking is not the fastest as a child. It's actually faster as a side hop as a child, but since it's night and I can't really get into the castle right now, um, it's kind of not worth it. Also, if you stand right here, the stuff is just going into the water. You just spawn in the water and die. Oh, a fairy came to me. Holy cow, that's such a nice thing. Fairy, Mr. Fairy, I like you. Move back just in case that thing. There we go. If you're like right here, the stuff will spawn in the water. It's great. Now, standing here, you might think that I'm going to get crushed by the drawbridge, but no, actually I'm not. Surprisingly, it sticks you straight on the drawbridge, which, at that angle, it looked like it wasn't there, but it, because it kind of wasn't, it wasn't actually loaded by the camera, because I was standing under it, kind of. It's weird, but it was still there. Like, if you're in a specific spot and looking at it in a specific angle, it doesn't appear to be there because it's not. It's just really confusing because it's silly. So silly, man. It's so silly! Ah! Okay, so. Right now I'm at the Temple of Time. Also known as the Tot. Um. So this spot is perfect. Cool. That. Oh, that was bad. That was ugly, man. That was ugly. So what I'm doing here is um, wanting myself up to do this trick. Oh, that was that was bad. There we go. Oh, that was that was just silly. Also, I can't, I can't pause by for this because, in my opinion, the start button is too far away from where I have to have my hand be. So, you see what I'm trying to do there. Really? Wow. Perfect, okay, we got it. <sighs> Your mama isn't that. It's that legendary blade. The mask. 
Master Sword. So here it is. I just rolled past it, but here's the Master Sword with. See, I don't know where this would be in time because I'm going to like cut out like so much fail. I thought you hold the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. All the keys were were just a, I don't know, backflip, a side roll, a side hop, backward side hop, really, and a jump slash. So, I never really held them. You, <laughs> you were the one who had them in your possession, I guess, kind of. I really like this music. It's really good. I swear. Okay, so. Um. Let's see here. Where are we? <laughs> Quit honestly. Where the hell are we? Hey, there's green. There's yellow. There's some old fat man standing right there. <laughs> there's an old fat man who looks like a Buddhist monk. If that's even possible. Actually, it just kind of looks like a monk. Not entirely sure if he looks like a Buddhist monk or whatever. Never actually seen a Buddhist monk. But I would imagine he kind of looks like Raru here. But apparently, this is the stronghold against Ganondorf's forces and the Master Sword. Uh, this is the final key of the Secret Realm, and uh, I shouldn't be alarmed, but... Oh god, what happened to me? What happened to me? Oh my good lord, what happened? Uh oh What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on? Shoot, I, I ran out of, out, out of uh, some drink here. Oh, I'm big now. Okay, I've grown up. That's good. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the title of Time. Also, the only one worthy of uh, can get the Song of Time. So, basically what he's saying is that I wasn't old enough to do this. And Ganondorf just kind of took the sacred triangles, and I was sealed away, and he, because I wasn't old enough, and he just took over the world, basically. See, I said that too early. Man, I say, I say stuff too early, and he just goes and says it afterwards. That, it's like, stupid. Nameless Chamber of Sages is... Somewhere. This is like the only last place that's good in the um, Morale Spirit Realm or whatever. What is the Morale? It's just the Realm. My power to fight together with the Sages makes me the best ever guy thing. Yo, mama. So. Hopefully, people are enjoying this. <laughs> I am. <laughs> it's the part where I fell a lot. It's the only part that I didn't enjoy about this so far. Other than that, you received a light medallion from of the Sage as his power to your stuff. It gave me a shiny yellow button. That all I'm ever going to do is stick in my back pocket that doesn't exist. Also known as the start menu. Maybe he sticks it with the sword. I don't know. He sticks it with the sword. That's like spearing it with the sword. Yo, Mama, we're back in this temple of time. But if seven years really passed, it looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. 
When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest. One on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. One within the house of the dead. One inside a goddess of sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I'm sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. And unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Do you understand your mama? Oh! Not really, but... Um... In the next episode... We will get out of this stupid place, because no one likes here. So, I've been SuperGrizzard 2, you are you, and this has been Ocarina of Time. See you in the next one.